This is a quick video to show you how to check your Pixhawk or Pixhawk compatible to see if it suffers from the one megabyte flash limit problem. The first thing you do is plug in your Pixhawk to your PC using the USB. Uh, then you connect with the Mission Planner. Now the vehicle must be running a very recent version of uh, ArduPilot. For example, I'm running uh, Copter 3.3.2. Then, so I've already connected now, and then I go to the terminal screen, and I select NSH from the drop-down, and then I press connect. And now I'm into the NSH terminal, uh, which is the NUTX shell. Then what I type very quickly is ver space all. You have to type quickly because this little overtime in task 19 uh, interrupts the uh, mission planner. So I've just taken a screen capture here so that we can see it more easily. And this is what it will show you. If it's got a problem, you will see written on the console here, warning, 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 revision, why it has a silicon errata. This can only utilize a maximum of one megabyte of flash safely. And also there's a link right below it, so you can click on that link and it'll take you to um, some description of the problem, more detailed description. Now, uh, so there's a one megabyte flash limit. Um, APM Copter is already 0.9 megabytes, so there's only about 10% left or so. Um, you know, we the developers will do our best to try and keep it under the one megabyte flash limit, but eventually we'll go over that. Um, now, once the firmware goes over this one megabyte flash limit, the USB connection becomes unreliable. So it should still fly, um, but there are issues if you ever try to connect with USB, which means that, for example, setting up the vehicle can be quite difficult because the, the connection keeps breaking. 